Hey guys, how you doing? It's Bryant here, Mustang Mods EcoBoost Garage with another episode and today we're going to be installing this BMR suspension lockout kit on my 2019 EcoBoost Mustang. So the kit that we have here is the BMR-CB005H Cradle Bushing Lockout Kit for the 2015 through 2019 Mustang. This kit is made up of these four bracing supports, the lockouts, and these two bracer bars. Everything gets installed on the rear of the vehicle and I will be walking us through the installation procedure shortly. Okay, so now we're going to start the installation process, and the first thing I have to do is get this baby off the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and jack the car up and put it on some jack stands, and then we'll come right back. Okay, so I put the car up on jacks, and as you can see, I've got the front jacks set at a little bit lower of a height than the rear jack stands. That way, I have more clearance in the rear, but of course, whatever uh, method you want to use that makes you comfortable. Um, go ahead with. Next step is to get the rear wheels off. So let me go ahead and get that accomplished and then I'll come right back. Okay, so with the rear wheel removed, you can see that I've got jack stands there and I've also got my jack supporting the subframe underneath because I don't want that to move while I'm undoing the bolts. So we're going to be removing We're going to be we're going to be removing these bolts up here, these two and that one, and then this plate will come off and it's going to be re um, replaced with these uh, it's going to be replaced with the stiffening bars. All right, so I'm just going to be using a 3/8 ratchet and a 13 mm socket to to break loose the first two. All right, now that they're broken loose, I'm just gonna spin them off by hand, or you can use a drill. Or if you happen to have an air compressor or impact gun, which I have, then you can use that as well. Okay, so the, with those two removed, now, now we're just going to do the forward one, and for that one it's a 21 millimeter socket. So, I'm just going to switch the socket out. I'm actually going to put an extension on here. Give myself a little more clearance. You can use a six, six, a six inch extension. Give yourself a little bit more clearance there. And we'll see how this works. This one might be too long actually.
All right, bolts out, plates out. It's nice when you have power tools to give yourself a little extra oomph instead of trying to break it free by hand. So here's the, the plate that was on there to support. And this is gonna be replaced by, uh, this is the hardware that holds it in. And that's gonna be replaced by these guys right here. So let me get that up inside of there and uh, get everything to line up. So just wanted to give you a shot of the rear. It's just forward of the muffler. This is the, the muffler, and you can see the pipe right there. It's just kind of inside of that area right there. So that's where the rear bushing is. We have to take that bolt out right there as well. And I, that's where the, uh, the lockout bushing, lockout ring will go in the rear. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys that um, basically I'm using just a normal jack with a piece of wood to support the subframe structure up inside of there because we have to be able to lower it down to be able to get the bushing kit up above where it needs to be installed up there. So I'm going to go ahead and lower it down a little bit, just a couple of inches so you can get your fingers in between the structure and the bushing. That way you can put the ring on there. So. With the subframe structure lowered down, you can see that oval structure, the oval ring there with the, uh, the flat sides. That's where this piece is gonna go around. So these, these little tangs here are gonna go up against that to kind of lock it in place. So it's gonna get installed like this, up around there, and then the bolt is gonna go through the hole, through that hole, and then you also put the, the, the thinner ring on the top, not the thick one, but the thin one. And you put it where it's covering up and, and circulating the bushing on the top. So, so basically you're gonna take this, like this, where the opening at the bottom goes over top and just down on top of the, the bushing. So here's my bushing lockout. I'm gonna stick it up inside of here and put it right over top of the bushing. And then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this and put it through the hole. And it's gonna go right in the hole up here. Okay, so I got it on there, and it's through the hole, and it, the threads are started. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down, and then we'll start at the front. So, basically what I just did was I lowered the jack down a little bit so I have a space between here and here so that I can put this guy up inside of here like this. And if you can't fit it exactly, you might need to it away a little bit to get her in there. Take some pressure off the jack.
All right, so now that that's over top of that, um, we can line this up with the big bolt. Just put the big bolt right through. That's going to go right through here as well. And we'll just get the big bolt started, finger tight, or just by hand. Jack it up to make it touch. That way you can get everything to line up. And, and then you can line up the four two bolts and just get them started by hand because we're going to drive them down with the impact driver anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and do those first, the small ones first. And oh, by the way, make sure that you don't, you haven't tightened the uh, rear one all the way yet. Because if you do, the rear ones, uh, the pressure on the rear one will prevent the, uh, the forward one from coming down far enough to allow you get, to get that bushing in, uh, the, the lockout in, the lockout ring. So that's that. Now, you can do the bigger one. Let's get that out of the way. All right, so just to recap here for this side, we got this bolt, this bolt, one inside of here that goes through, this ring sitting down on top like a donut that's circulating the, the bushing. This bottom part right here is in circulating the lower bushing. So the bolt goes through the whole thing and gets bolted up inside of there. We're gonna need to raise and lower the jack accordingly to be able to get to enough space between the subframe and the, and the actual car structure frame to be able to fit the, the donut circle between there. And the same thing on the rear. <sighs> I went ahead and tightened everything down using my impact driver and everything is as tight as it gets. Uh, I don't have a torque wrench. You can use a torque wrench and go by the spec if you want to. I'm not even sure what the torque value is, but over torqued is better than under torqued. <laughs> so in my opinion, if it's as tight as the impact wrench will get it, then we should be good to go. Anyway, that's, that's that. I'm gonna do the other side and, uh, and then we're call it a day. And then I can go test it out. All right, let's get this side underway. First things first, let's put the 13 millimeter on here. Actually, here's a good opportunity. You can kind of see there's the there's the rear one. So you're just gonna put it right up inside of there like that. And now that that's on there, we've got the little tangs here. I'm gonna put those on the outsides of that, like so. Stick my bolt through the whole entire thing. Now, 
is it's down too far right now, so I can't get the bolt started. So what I have to do is jack up slowly on the subframe to move it up. And as it moves up, now I can start threading in the threads. So as you can see, it only took a few minutes once we had everything set up and in place with the jacks and everything. Um, yeah, I mean, one side only took about five minutes. So uh, it's, it goes pretty quick if you have a, an impact wrench or a, an air gun or whatever to make it go faster. If you don't, then uh, just use hand tools and just uh, ratchet it and it'll take a little bit longer, but it's still an easy job. Anybody can do it. All right, so I got the wheels back on, the cars lowered back down to the ground. Everything's back to normal. And I am going to pretty soon take it for a test drive. <laughs> 